Graphic design is everywhere. We see and use it every day, perhaps without even knowing what it really is. So, what is graphic design? Simply, graphic design is about communicating. Communicating to inform, to educate, to persuade. It comments on culture, politics, society. It shapes the way we see the world, and it actually goes back much further than you might think. Cave paintings in Indonesia date back to about 40,000 BC. They show the development of modern humans, and perhaps they mark the origins of visual communication, highlighting man's ability to observe. Much later, the ancient Egyptians developed a communication system known as hieroglyphics. This combination of logographic and alphabetic elements originate from old pottery and tomb carvings. In 1200 to 1500 BC, the first verified alphabet was created, known as the Phoenician alphabet. Africa's is the most ancient example of writing in alphabet form. It derives from the ancient Egyptians' hieroglyphics and was a widely used writing system, particularly by merchants. In 150 BC, the Chinese invented the oldest precursor to modern paper. 1,300 years later, a German artisan by the name of Gutenberg developed the first printing press to use movable type. This new press begun the printing revolution, whereby the mass production of books became easier, cheaper, and much more widely accessible. Posters circulating around the outset of World War I were becoming much more effective. The pointing finger, used famously by Alfred Lear in his 1914 We Need You campaign, or the clenched fist seen in propaganda throughout the 1920s, showed that visual communication was becoming much more effective and much more widespread. The 1917 art movement Dutch style professed abstraction and a reduction in form and colour, perhaps informing Henry Beck's famous 1933 underground map design. An epitome of abstraction, this design condenses information into an easily readable form, using colour and form to clearly communicate to its audience. In 1957, Mindinger created the most widely used font today, Helvetica, which propounded neutrality and legibility. Alberto Corda's 1960 photo of Che Guevara became a symbol of counterculture, with Jim Fitzpatrick's rendition of this photograph further embedding this image into our society. Technological development throughout the 1670s and 80s eventually brought the first commercially available computer, Apple's Macintosh, which was the first to use a graphical user interface. Other advancements have led us to a modern digital world of design. Adobe was founded in 1882, famous for creating a multitude of creative software and formats, and with booming online businesses and the exponential rise of the internet, graphic design and the need for effective communication has never been so sought after. Graphic design has never been so easy to produce and so accessible. The widespread use of the commercial computer has enabled anyone and everyone to be a designer and put the power of visual communication in the hands of the many. Thanks for listening.